The longer I live with my grandparents, the crazier I become. I try not to tell myself that, but it's the truth. Both my grandparents have dementia. My grandma will never admit she has dementia, but she's starting to get it. She can't hear, she can't tell colors from other colors. She loves herself way too much. She sees objects as empathy. My step-grandpa doesn't like her, but he follows everything she says because he's afraid of her. Me? Where do I fall into this? I'm just the healthy grandson who's trying to write a book. Trying to find his place in life. Wondering where I came from, why I'm here, why. Nobody really asks why. Everyone just goes on with their stupid ass lives. <coughs> There was an article in paper that my step-grandpa was reading. And he was talking about how a guy went seven years and got his bachelor's, no, his, uh, what's the one above bachelor's uh, degree to become a, um, a judge. But he can't find a job now because there are no jobs. That's what I mean by intelligence versus intelligence. You can be like me, who is intelligent, or you can be like a fucking stupid ass conformist follower and listen to what all the other people say, go to school for seven years, waste tons of money, waste lots more money, and then have to pay all that money back and... Live with your parents right after graduating because you can't find a job because there are no more jobs. The truth hurts, doesn't it? The only way to get through this life anymore is to either be a loser working in an office job, hating your life, wanting to kill yourself secretly, or working in the tech industry, working at Google, Apple, having a tech job, and working in an office, and being an office worker. Or you could try L.A. and become a movie star. Or you could go on The Voice. Or you can go on American Idol. Or you can be like me and want to explore the actual fucking world. Because you think the world is actually fucking flat. Because it actually is! And when I say flat... Calm down, Cody. Calm down. When I say flat, I mean the round globe we live in is actually just one little part of the world. All put into one little globe. I once as a kid asked, this can't be the whole world. This is too small. Exactly. Because the globe we have is just one little tiny part of the world. If you go past Antarctica... That's what I want to do. If I ever fucking become rich, guess what I'm doing? And guess what's illegal? And guess what I'm going to do, even though it's illegal? I am going to break the law and go past Antarctica. Because you know what? Anyone should be able to do that. Because we're put on this world as people and no person is better than another person. You are no better than me. You are just a person. I am just a person. I am not better than you. You are not better than me. We are both people. Friends, contacts, money, nothing makes you better than another person. Paper, it doesn't make you better than someone else. Power, it doesn't make you better than someone else. We are all people. We should connect as people. We should act like people. We've lost the ability to be people. And it's disgusting. 
And I can see that my grandparents are losing the ability to be people more and more each and every day. My grandma only cares about power because she has no power. And my grandpa only cares about nothing. He cares about nothing. He's given up on life. All he says is he's retired. And he sits on his butt unless he gets a little job from my grandma. What do I do? I'm writing a book about all of this, about how the whole world is fucked. And no one really seems to give a shit. <coughs> no one really seems to care. No one really seems to notice. My family doesn't seem to notice. Hell, I'll even say this. My little sister works an office job. She's going to college. Do that if it makes you happy. But I know it doesn't because I know you. I know it's not making you happy and you're only doing it because every person on the fucking planet does it. It's the only reason you're doing it. You're not doing it to make you happy. No, you're not. At least my older sister travels. It makes her happy. I fucking hate traveling. But you know what? If I travel, I'm only traveling to one place. And that is past Antarctica. Because that is the barrier. No one's ever passed Antarctica except the government. And you know what? If I get a plane, guess where I'm going? Who, past Antarctica. Yep. I think this is the most serious video I've ever made. But it's the most truthful. <coughs> it is so hard for me to meet a girl on OkCupid and tell her, Oh, what are you interested in? Oh, I want to pass the wall of Antarctica to see if the world is flat, because I know it is. Gone. I can't meet any girl who actually knows the truth about America, knows that the world is controlled by corporations. About 5% of the United States realizes this. 20% like notices it and the rest are just followers, but more are becoming realizers when the 5% needs to grow. I'm in the 5% and the 5% needs to get all the way to 100. And seriously, when I when I post videos up online that are against the government, that are against something like that, I always get a Facebook message from fucking some random person that wants to be my friend and says, Hey, you want to take down the government together? No! Because I fucking know that you're a government agent, you dipshit! Why the fuck, obviously... Would someone be messaging me about something I just made a video about? You obviously watched it. You're obviously an agent. Obviously! I'm not stupid. I notice shit. I notice everything that happens. And if I don't point it out, I'm noticing it in secret. And I'm not telling you. Because I'm fucking intuitive. And I notice everything! I notice when someone's bullshitting. I notice when someone's listening to me just to get something from me. I notice. So don't try to trick me. Ever. Have a good day. I hope this video gets out. And lots of